Hi, my name is Bob. Here in Corral Paint Shop Pro 2018, I'm going to show you how to make images like this. And I'm going to be using the vibrancy tool for this. I know there's a lot of different ways to make images like this, but this is the way I do it. I want to get my image and I'm going to crop out my son. It's a good picture of my son and not a very flattering picture for my wife. I'm going to crop the image by going up to image, crop to selection. Now I'm going to duplicate my image. I duplicate my layer. It's a good habit to get into. If you make a mistake, you still have the original to go to. I'm going to go down to my quick selection tool and I'm going to select out Noah. I usually have my tool set at feather one anti alice at one tolerance well that's a choice on the image if you have a lot of hair or leaves and stuff like that tolerance might have to be a little higher mine set at 32 i am going to go up to selection and promote the layer i'm going to shut off the bottom layers for now since it's still selection i want to add another layer on top of it and i'm just going to flood fill it with white and I'm going to go to selection, select none. For now I'm going to shut off that layer with the white and I'm going to go to the layer underneath it. Now you can go up to uh, adjust uh, hue, saturation up to vibrancy. Uh, it depends on the image. The higher you go, the brighter everything gets. The lower you go, the more desaturation you get. I think I'm going to go around 75. I kind of like that the way it is. I'm going to go back up to my top layer and I'm going to set this to soft light. Now it gives me a nice dreamy effect. I'm going to merge. Uh, left click on with my mouse, go down to merge and merge down. Now you can use this effect with this color or go back up to the uh, vibrancy up to adjust hue and saturation vibrancy and I'm just going to bring it down to black and white. I'm not liking the crop too much on this so I think I'm going to crop it. Now this is a uh, this is totally up to the individual what you want to do with your image. Still, I'm still not happy so I think I'm going to crop part of his hat off. Up the image. Crop. Okay, I'm starting to like that a lot. Go down now to new raster layer. Flood fill this one with white. Put it underneath your black and white image. Now go on top. Click on your black and white image. Add another raster layer. And here comes the fun part. You take your paintbrush, have it large, even larger than that. I usually have my paintbrush hardness around 42, opacity 53, and with white, just start painting around the edges. You want to take out the sharp edges. It's how it's up totally up to you how, how much you want to take away. I like taking away the sharp lines. I think I would like this down here a little bit more, so I'm just going to use my eraser tool. Take my paintbrush. Go up to uh, adjust blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to a high number. That's too high. Back it down a bit. Back it down. I got mine set around 27 it looks like. I added another layer. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to do the same thing on this layer. And again I'm going to go to adjust blur, gauge and blur. I want to set this one to a real high number. Okay. I like the result here and I am happy with it so I'm going to merge 
visible. Here we're going to add another white layer to it. Just add a new raster layer, flood filled it, put it underneath the black and white, shut that layer off and turn on the layer underneath it. Go up to your black and white image, get your eraser tool, hold down the alt key if you move your mouse up and down it will give you the size. I have my opacity set low and my hardness set low. This should turn my opacity a little higher. You should start seeing color here. It's up to you on how much color you want to see of the image below. You can make the that's too hard. I'm gonna turn my opacity down. Sometimes doing ellipse is a choice. I'm liking that a little bit. That's too much. Do it again. Now here comes now here comes the freaky part. Now this is a choice up to you. Sometimes I like doing it and sometimes I don't. I'm going to turn on the bottom. I'm going to turn on the white layer by clicking on it and I'm going to turn down the opacity. Uh, make sure you're on the white layer when you do this. Turn down the opacity a bit and it makes the eyes look spooky and I do like this effect. If you're happy with this, merge all your layers together, sign it, and have fun. Thank you for listening. Bye.